There we go. This thing is relatively powerful. That is obviously because, uh, because we have that vector engine in the middle. Now we do have a thrust limiter on it, so the thrust coming out of it isn't as strong. And sadly, the plume is pretty visible and yeah, I find that kind of a shame, but eight thud engines weren't enough and I wasn't planning on killing Marvin's PC by using like 20 thud engines because that would have probably ha had enough thrust to rate ratio, but it would absolutely kill his CPU and GPU. You know, Marvin lets me record on his computer and paying him back by blowing up his PC and probably his entire house isn't really that, that nice. So I'll try not doing it. But yeah, we have separated from the upper stage and we are now trying to land the first stage. But the Kraken had other ideas. It decided that it would detach one of my landing gear pieces. Not that we needed it because we were landing in the water. I actually noticed that if we deployed and retracted our landing gear, it would slow us down a little. So I decided to, to use that to slow us down a bit before doing our burn, which we are doing right here. And we ran out of fuel. And the last possible moment, as you can see right here, there we go. Nothing broke, luckily, but... Yeah, the landing wasn't exactly as smooth as it could have been. And the, the seas were rough, it appears. But yeah, we can now continue with the upper stage and it is moving up through the skies of Kirby and going into orbit. Yeah, I kind it kind of looks the same as an arrow spike from, from this angle at least. I, I'm quite happy with how the upper stage turned out. Not so much with the second stage, but that is mainly because of the ugly landing legs just sticking out. Because it's really difficult to recreate the landing legs that the real Stoke Space rocket has. So yeah, it's a shame, but still it looks pretty similar. And hey, we are in space right now so we can create our maneuver node to circularize around Kerbin which we have done right now there's been a, a complete maneuver node overhaul and it looks way better and everything is really really exact now a, a lot better than uh, before the patch so yeah quite happy about that thank you very much developers the the entire patch was really really good and i can't wait for the coming updates so we are now in orbit we will time warp until a place where we are in nicely in the sunlight of Kerbal and now we can open the cargo bay nose there it is wow and we can see the little probe so we will just orient ourselves into a nice position and now we can deploy the probe there it is beautiful sadly the action groups weren't working so we had to use the the buttons on the left so there we go now the solar panels are deploying beautiful animation really really nicely done by the developers and now extending the antenna another brilliant animation really like the attention to detail of everything yeah really really well done good job developers very very nice i know they won't hear this but hey it doesn't matter so, we are now back at the upper stage, we have deployed the payload and we are closing the nose cone. And as you can see, Auto SAS just wasn't working. It was so incredibly slow and the manual SAS was also really weird. I have no idea what caused this. As you can see, manual SAS kind of worked but we could only move like in one direction. So I tried it again. This time the camera was also completely shifted in, in a wrong place. So I tried fixing it but yeah, the stupid KSP2 camera system was already annoying. So I just tried the orbiting using this. And we could only move up and down now with manual SAS and we just couldn't move left to right and when i fired my engines which i'm doing right now if you look at the nav ball we are just spinning out of control i have no idea what's happened this is such a weird bug so eventually i just loaded the quick save where we still had the payload and i landed using the payload so i guess this thing really is 100 percent reusable even the payload is reusable have you ever heard of that it's a shame but after the recording i launched the payload up again and that time i didn't actually land anything and hey, if you are enjoying this video at any point, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If in the future you don't like my content anymore, you can just unsubscribe and it is completely free. And while you're down there, consider hitting that like button. Thank you very much. We have deorbited ourselves and in a second we are going to be entering the atmosphere of Kerbin, which we are going to be doing in 3, 2, 1, now. There we go, so we are falling through the atmosphere, those fins doing their work beautifully, making sure it does not flip upside down. We can see the Kerbal Space Center right there in the distance, and we can see the pads where I want to be landing. So, doing some, some maneuvers, some aerodynamical 
thingies, movements. We are firing our engines to slow down for the first time. And uh, we, we kind of missed it, but we did a little new shepherd hover. And we managed to get pretty close to the center. Not exactly in the center, but hey, it's close enough, you know. It's, it's my first attempt at ever landing, like, something from completely from orbit to this little landing pad. I was quite happy with it, the way I did it. And hey! We are landed! Yes, a 100% reusable rocket, including the payload. So yeah, that was really cool. I really enjoyed recording this video, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe with post notifications so you never miss a video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!